All right, folks, so we're going to do a quick film study <coughs> of Yusik uh, against uh, his chal challenger. I think it was Mnuchin. I, I don't know how to say it right. Um, the South African boxer. Um, and forgive me for that. Um, but, oh, Mnuchinu. Okay, anyway. So as you can tell, um, lots of long-range punches, straight punches from Yusik. Um, he kind of dirty boxes here by getting over to um, his opponent's right side and then coming over the top uh, with some dirty boxing at a, a rear cross and it looks like he was southpaw. And um, he dropped him, I think, three times and that's what uh, what ended this. But um, we're just trying to go over the, the end over here. So you'll see that his opponent is... Um, is very good with uh, his head movement. Um, he actually gets out of the way of a lot of uh, the power from Usyk. Takes the steam off of a lot, fighting off his back foot. And uh, really gets low for those body shots, which is really textbook, um, which I really like about his his opponent. But Usyk switches it up. He goes you know, right, right, left, left, and then throws some really interesting uh, shots. And these are all hooks, mind you. And he overwhelms his opponent circles around him because usually in, in boxing people think you, you just hit me with the left now you're going to come with the right because they're all power shots because you're winding but if you throw if you double tap if you double tap with the same hand <clears throat> then um, it's it's unpredictable that way okay and I just want to emphasize that so he goes jab jab right or sorry jab jab rear um but I believe his opponent was already down here. I'm just going to rewind a little bit. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what drops him here. I just wanted to check. I'm surprised that rear overhand didn't drop him. I think he just went to a knee because um, he didn't want to take any more damage. Is potentially what it was. Or it might have been a delayed effect from something earlier. Uh, such as an overhand. Um... But yeah, so here he backs his opponent up to a corner, does Usyk, and he does some dirty boxing. And um, throws some straights to kind of confuse him, because usually in that range it's mostly going to be hooks and uppercuts, because it's close to mid-range, uh, with some over-the-top rear crosses. Um, but a lot of it's timing and, and knowing where the, the head is moving to, and if the body opens up. So you have to have that visibility... Um, when you've got someone backed into a corner. And so his opponent was backed in the corner. He tries to get away from the cutting off of the ring that Yusik was imposing on him. And it ends up not, not working out too well. He tries to get out of there, but doesn't make it. I just want to keep uh, highlighting it. You know, maybe I should go in slow-mo here. This is happening all really fast. So, so after his his standing count, um, he so Yusik gets 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 uh, timed on on the rear hook of his opponent, and his rear, his opponent still seems really sharp here, but you know, just being overwhelmed is like a volume puncher. Uh, with who also has very good technique, um, very small, very small errors, if any at all. But see, his con his choice of combo is is pretty nice. So after he afterwards, he just initiates a lead hook, a rear hook, and then a rear cross, and that's what drops him. Is the um, is the the rear cross. I don't think that's a hook. I think that was just a funky. It was a funky cross. And there's a saying in boxing: it's I don't care what it is, you know, or how it's done. Just, just get to the point. As long as the punch gets to the point, you train all the techniques and all the the drilling. It has to be done with perfection. However, when you're in the ring, things can look sloppy. It can look like a like a I like say he a he she, but it actually is. You know, it's, a, it's not a cross. It's a, it's not a hook. It's, it's something in between. And, um, and there's moves like that. It's, it's something. There's something called a shovel hook. 
which which is kind of like a it's kind of like a if you do it's a, if it's a lead hand it's it's kind of like a jab and an uppercut had had a baby because um, it also starts with your elbow up against your your ribs and then you shoot it out in front of you you know boxing is a very uh, dangerous sport it's a very unpopular sport it's also a very concussive sport so you know um, keep up your boxing videos and don't get too caught up in the whole jujitsu world if if you're trying to um, remain good in combat okay thank you hope you hope you subscribe bye